Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Manatee County Veterans Council Memorial Day service. I'm Jim Clocky. I'm the chairman of the Manatee County Veterans Council. Please stand if you're able in the presentation in the Battlefield Cross by the U.S. Marine Corps League number 588. Thank you, gentlemen. Bugler, call the colors. Remain standing for the invocation by Mike Surley, Commander, U.S. Navy, retired. Mike. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks to you for our great nation. We also pray for all members of our military, especially those who have gone before us, sacrificing their lives for the safety and protection of our country. We are grateful for them and may they inspire us to continually do what is right. All this we pray to thee in thy heavenly name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now we have our Mr. Jack Can Catwell, U.S. Army Staff Sergeant, singing the national anthem. And he does have a wonderful voice. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets' red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Mike and Jack. 
Please be seated. <clears throat> I've been coming to these things about eight years, and I've never seen so many people at one. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you. And thank you, Lord, no rain. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, next I'd like to please welcome Paige Morrison, field representative from Congress Vern Buchanan. Paige. Thank you, Jim. And thank you, Manatee County Veterans Council. On behalf of Congressman Buchanan, I thank you for attending and the Manatee Veterans Council for putting on this wonderful event. On May 30th, 1868, Mourners placed flowers on the graves of Union and Confederate soldiers at Arlington National Cemetery, marking the first observance of Memorial Day. We continue this tradition today in communities across the nation. Ever since George Washington defeated the British at Yorktown, American soldiers have served honorably in conflicts at home and around the world. Veterans who came home, and we thank them for their service and those who serve today. But on Memorial Day, we honor and remember our servicemen and women who paid the ultimate price. Since the Revolutionary War, over 1.3 million Americans have died in the cause of freedom. It is their sacrifice that allows us to enjoy our American way of life and time-honored traditions like Memorial Day. Thank you for coming out today to honor all Americans who gave their lives in defense of our freedom in our nation. God bless. Thank you, Paige. <clears throat> Next, we have for day. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on. Yes. <laughs> Please welcome Renee Medina Dina from the Manatee County Veteran Service Office to present the Manatee County Memorial Day Proclamation. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Manatee County, Florida Proclamation by the Board of County Commissioners, Manatee County, Florida. Whereas we pay, pay tribute and honor to those who paid the ultimate sacrifice in service of our country, with heaviness of heart and sense of gratitude, we hold reverence to those sacrifices of our servicemen and women, parents, children, loved ones, brothers and sisters in arms, friends and all those known and unknown. And whereas Americans have raised their right hands signed on the dotted line, served in battle, and laid down their lives to defend peace and freedom against th threats of tyranny and aggression. And whereas, it is important to show our gratitude for all soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, Coast Guard men, and merchant mariners who died in the service of our nation that we might continue to enjoy the liberties we so deeply cherish. And whereas, we the living must carry the torch so the sacrifice of those who fought to preserve our way of life will not be forgotten. And whereas the citizens of Manatee County wish to express their lasting gratitude and admiration. Now therefore, be it proclaimed by the Board of County Commissioners of Manatee County, Florida, that May 29th, 2023 shall be known, designated, and set aside as Memorial Day in Manatee County, Florida, and calls upon all citizens, schools, businesses, clubs, news media, to pay tribute to our veterans by displaying the flag of the United States of America and by conducting and attending Memorial Day ceremonies throughout Manatee County in recognition of all of those who have made the absolute sacrifice in the past and current conflicts and fought with bravery, conviction, and pride in liberating free and independent people. This was adopted with a quorum present and voting 23rd of May, 2023, and signed by Kevin Van Ostenbridge, a chairperson, as well as Angelina Colesco, clerk of the court. Thank you. Thank you, Renee. Please welcome the Braid, Braden River ROTC, who will now lay the wreaths. Fellas, ready? U.S. Army.
United States Marines. <clears throat> United States Navy. United States Air Force. United States Space Force. United States Coast Guard. <clears throat> Daughters of American Revolution. VFW one two zero five five.
The DUV, Daughters of the Union Veterans of the Civil War. They weren't really in the Civil War, but that's okay. <laughs> Korean War, Minnesota Chapter 199. Minnesota Elks, Lodge 2734. I'd like to thank all the uh, individual organizations that have participated with the wreath laying here. And uh, Braden River Junior ROTC, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> now we're going to get down to some serious stuff. I'd like to welcome Mayor Shirley Grover Bryant. Mayor of the city of Palmetto. That's just that little place over there, some, some place over there, you know. The other side of the river. To introduce our guest speaker. Thank you. It's not too little. It's my privilege this morning to introduce my counterpart to the south of that city across the river, um, Mayor Jean Brown. Jean Brown served three terms on the Brainton City Council as Ward 2 Councilman before deciding to run for mayor. He was successful in his first bid to become mayor. Mayor Brown brings a unique perspective to the mayor's office. As Vice President and COO of Brown and Sons Funeral Home and Crematory, he understands firsthand the needs of the business community. Brown and Sons has been a corporate member of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Manatee County for decades. Mayor Brown has been coaching boys and girls sports and has been an active presence in the local youth sports scene. Additionally, Green Jean Brown was named Florida Area Council Board Member of the Year in 2004 and served as Community Service Officer for the City of Bradenton. He served on the Bradenton Police Pension Board for eight years and on the City of Bradenton Merit Board for five years. He's been doing a great job for the City of Bradenton. So I'm very happy to introduce Mayor Jean Brown Mayor of the City of Brainton and a great guy to work with. Thank you. Jean. Thank you, 
One of the things that I've always done is, is kind of be a collaborator and obviously working with the city of Palmetto, Manatee County and all of our residents in the in this, this beautiful uh, Chamber of Commerce weather day we have today, but working together with everybody and making sure that everybody's heard and, and, and thought about and, and, and is important as we go through our lives and in our country. So um, once again, I'd like to say good morning to all and I thank you for being here today. Calvin Coolidge said, no person was ever honored for what he received. Honor has been the reward for what he gave. We are here today to talk about and honor those who gave, of course, those who gave everything, their lives here at home, their families, their very breath. I'd like to share with you how this day of remembrance known as Memorial Day started. Observed on the last Monday of May, Memorial Day was originally known as Decoration Day. During the Civil War, women would decorate the graves of fallen soldiers and at the end of the Civil War, a woman named Mary Ann Williams decided to decorate the graves of all Civil War soldiers, whether the grave was of a Union or a Confederate soldier, to commemorate their sacrifice to military service. General John Logan, commander of the Grand Army of the Republic, issued General Order No. 11 in 1868, directing that the nation set aside a day to honor those who died in the defense of their country and whose bodies now lie in rest in every city, village, and hamlet churchyard throughout the land. Today, many people still visit cemeteries and memorials on this day to honor and mourn those who have died while serving in the military. Volunteers put American flags on military graves at national cemeteries to honor those who served. This is as it should be but also many people simply consider Memorial Day just another holiday and the unofficial beginning of summer. There's no doubt that summer-like conditions are here, even though today is, is kind of a, a little bit nicer than that, but we are here today on this Memorial Day for a reason so much more important than the beginning of summer or a day off or even simply patriotism. We are here because some of those soldiers who died defending our country did so after dreaming as a little boy or little girl of serving their country in the military. They literally grew up dreaming, uh, their, grew up into their dream come true and then died, died while doing it for us. While some of those we honor today died on the field of battle, others have died quiet deaths due to mental health issues or other medical conditions brought back from their military service. To the family of those who mourn a lost soldier today, military service is never entered to alone. We recognize that there are families on the other side of every recruit, every man or woman who signed up for duty, honor, and country. Every soldier lives by those three words, and we will never forget what your soldier and you have given to our country. We will never fail to honor their sacrifice and yours. So on this day, after the prayers and the remembrances and the laying of the wreaths, it is appropriate to say, Happy Memorial Day. Yes, if it comes from recognition and gratitude that we have the life we have today because of the men and women who gave up the possibility of their own so that we could all say, Happy Memorial Day. And I'd like to thank the veterans um, memorial group, what they do, Manatee County Veterans Council, and, and it was an honor um, just recently to actually name this park after a great man and that's sitting behind me and Don Courtney. So um, we celebrate all of us today for what we do for our country and what those have gone before us have done for our country. So thank you and happy Memorial Day. Thank you, mayors, mayors, ers, 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 ers. Now, we got a little special arrangement coming up here. Uh, retired Colonel Gil Ritterman, United States Army, for a special presentation, comments on the significance of the poppies on Memorial Day.
As you all know, many veterans groups distribute poppies in commemoration of significant events, obviously uh, Veterans Day and Memorial Day. The history of the poppies traces back to World War I when a Canadian named John McRae went to the cemetery at Flanders, Belgium, saw the poppies growing, and, one, and thought of a way to recognize the sacrifice that all those young men and women had made. He wrote a short poem that captures the essence of what he saw. As you listen to the words, please reflect on what they mean. I would submit they are as relevant now to us and those who have gone before us as the words were back then. In Flanders field, the poppies blow between the crosses row by row that mark our place and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, short time ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved and now we lie in Flanders field. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw the torch to yours to hold it high. If you break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders Field. We're here, obviously, for a very special, somber occasion. We have the opportunity today to uh, recognize one of our own who uh, merits a particular distinction. For over 25 years, Don Courtney has been a stalwart in the veteran community of Manatee County in Bradenton. Involved as a volunteer with national, state, county, and local activities, he epitomizes the concept of serving for the greater good. A former Manatee Veteran of the Year, an inductee into the Florida Veterans Hall of Fame, Last year he received, as, the only, as only the fifth Floridian to do so, the Presidential Lifetime Service Award in recognition of over 5,500 hours of veteran-related volunteer service. For these recognitions and so much more and with the heartfelt thanks of our fellow veterans, today we honor him by naming this park Chief Warrant Officer for Donald L. Courtney Veterans Park and Don, if you would come to me to our makeshift covering of your plaque, I'd be glad to unveil it with you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate all that you've come out today to honor all our veterans that have passed. I'd like to thank the county commissioners, Mayor Brown, Mayor Shirley Goober Bryant, and especially all the veterans of Manatee County for this honor, and especially Colonel Gil Ruderman and Mr. Lee Washington that helped with this project. Thank you. Congratulations, Dan. Thank you. Okay. Okay. This Memorial Day, we remember those who courageously gave their lives to those who have fought and those who are fighting. We admire our courage and appreciate your sacrifice. We salute you, honor you, and thank you. Let's all stand, if possible. Jack Cantwell is going to sing God Bless America. Please join me in singing God Bless America. God bless America, land that I love. 
Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam, God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet home. Thank you. Taps now will be played at VFW Lodge number 10141. Thank you very much, Brad Green. It's the only way I can keep him quiet, give him, put a bugle in his mouth. This concludes our, concludes our Memorial Day services. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for coming out, and have a very good day. Thank you very much.